have a 40 gallon, 80 gallon, and a 55 gallon that I have the CO2 for. Uh, things you need are a plastic bottle, um, two liter works, one liter works, whatever size you have will work. Uh, you just have to look up uh, how much you're gonna need for like the inside of that. Uh, plastic uh, airline tubing. I have I bought this off of uh, eBay or Aquabit. I'm not exactly sure, but it diffuses the CO2 so it lasts longer in your aquarium. Or you can use an regular old air stone. You want a stopper just in case. You never know. It might back up and go opposite way. Then you're screwed. Uh, you can use different tools to create the hole on the top. Uh, screwdriver. Uh, you know, you can start with a pocket knife and then use a screwdriver. This screwdriver is the exact size for that. So, I mean, if I get this all the way through, I start with this pocket knife first. Get all the way through, you know, you, you create the hole. And you can use, I mean, you can use a variety of things. A drill would work too. But basically what you do is you drill a hole on the top. Be careful. You can hurt yourself. You drill a hole. You slide in your airline tubing, you silicone it, I forgot silicone, sorry. I don't have silicone right now. You silicone it, uh, you wait a day or however long, and then you Google search, you know, for however bottle, however uh, size bottle you have. I have a two liter, so on a two liter you need a cup of, two cups of sugar, and a really small amount of yeast, a tiny small amount of yeast. Some people use baking soda, I personally don't know, but the least the least amount of yeast you use the longer it will last the more amount of yeast you use the stronger amount of co2 it will create for a shorter period of time so less co2 creates a longer period but not as strong so i mean it just depends on what kind of plants you have and everything i have java moss i don't really need a co2 but i added in there um, basically your finished product just give me a sec. It should look like this. Um, ob obviously, this isn't one that you silicone. I bought this for my brine shrimp. Basically, I'm supposed to hang it up, and it's supposed to work like that. But I didn't really like the whole brine shrimp thing. So yeah, this is how it, what it looks like. It looks like gunk in there. You shake it up every once in a while, and there it is right there. And I shook it way too hard. But that will last me two, three months um, after I do it. Uh, I usually leave, leave it in there for a month or two after I do it. I'll rotate it. Yes, my tank is disgusting right now. I'll rotate it and put in my 55. And then I'll le leave it in there for two or three months. Put it in my 40. Leave it in there for two or three months. And yeah, I just rotate them through. I don't like leaving them in there for a long time. Um, I just recently bought this, so I haven't added, added it yet. So that will be something I do in an uh, update. If you guys have any questions, comments, um, I bought this off of eBay when I brought, bought my brine shrimp net. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, comments, or you just want to subscribe, or you have a certain request on something you'd like be, to be done, you know, fish related, any kind of questions at all, shoot. Um, yeah, this is my 80 gallon, so peace.